one of the lines that uh, Mike Johnson will put on the ice. And Spalling backs it off the boards up into the blue zone. Back to get it goes to Terry Lindball. Hit by Downey, shuffled it to the goal. And the save made by Jake Allen as he juggled it for a moment, able to freeze it at the post. Juliak can't catch up with the puck. Pinching down was Backus. He's got it now for the Blues. Backus with a shot and a save made by Flurry. It was a dangerous chance there for David Backus. Now in behind the net, Backus again moves it to the corner. Oshie has it there, spinning away from Pouliot. Dishes it out to the high slot. Steams drive is stopped by Flurry. Rebound of Flurry, sprawl to the ice. He may have gotten a piece of that shot by Tyson. Boom, sent it up the wall, but it's held in on the right side by Perron. And around to the left side for Crosby. Let it go through to Martin. Dumps it back down into the corner. Lindbaum has his pocket picked by Perron, following on Winnick. Nice play. Out to Latang, the drive, and it's off the outside of the post. Maybe a little more than God given. Look out here on this faceoff. Now it's Backus in the corner. Backus trying to shovel it in front for Oshie, and again the Penguins break it up. Martin found Como, and he's able to just golf it back up into the blue zone. For sixth, and the Penguins are fifth. In the National Hockey League defensively, that is an amazing number for the Penguins. A 2.35 goals against average. Here's back a shooting. Pass save made. Rebound. Just in time. Kunitz got there to prevent the rebound opportunity from going in. Jaden Schwartz dumps it to the right wing corner and Derek Pouliot back to get it. 4-12 to go in the period. Six shots for St. Louis. Only three for the Penguins, but they spent a lot of time oh in the God. offensive zone. Yeah, they really have, and, and that is... Uh, not indicative of how this house is really in behind is Winnick for Martin. Martin moves it near side to Crosby, and he can't find the man at the point, Latang, as it's picked off by Tarasenko. Schwartz is headed to the net. Latang got a stick on it, and then Schwartz shot it wide, and then Tarasenko got it and fired it. And that's taken by Winnick and cleared back into the blue zone. Off the stick of Barrett Jack. Ortuzo broke it up. Now it's Jackman in over the line. He's hounded from behind. Excellent back pressure there by Spalling to take it away from him. Now behind the net, Cole, look out, here comes Reeves. He tried to absolutely send Cole through the glass. And he got enough of him, but Cole just shrugged it right off. In shots, he played almost 24 minutes of hockey right now. That's total between two teams, and you're right, this is the way Ken Hedgecock loves to play the game. Tight checking, and let's have a couple of guys like Tarasenko to break it open. And there's a shot by Berglund, and Fleury made a save with the left pass. Berglund followed up trying to get his own rebound and fanned on it. Key goal, too, for the Penguins on home ice. Now here's Petrangelo. He's a defenseman. He's moved up on the plate of Tarasenko. A shot of Fleury, read the play, and made a big save on the 35 goal scorer, Vladimir Tarasenko. Remember that one. As they had the play they wanted there, but Fleury knew it was coming. Now a poke check on Laterra, and the puck squirts away from the front of the net. Petrangelo, Tarasenko, shooting, and a save by Fleury. Corner, boy, he's moved up and has been dangerous as a forward almost. And the Penguins go the other way, and now it's Winnick. And he's got Cuomo going to the net. Here he is! Tarasenko, big save coming over square in the butterfly. Tarasenko with a second opportunity. Flower was there square to the shot. And then Winnick wins a battle coming out of the penalty box. And there is the shuffle by Como on the Super Mo. That one right between the legs of the netminder, Allen. Mr. Winnick coming out of the penalty box, Staggy. He outmuscled. He outcraftiness. He outcrafty. That's not a word I know, but. He was a lot more crafty than the calling was. Here's Downey. Oh, the puck's behind the goaltender. It's a goal. Yes, it went underneath the right pad, and he swept it underneath himself. Allen did, and he swept the puck right into the net. And the Penguins strike for another one really quickly to make it two to nothing. And Steve Downey right on the doorstep gets the goal. Well, he's got great hands, and he may have elevated this puck when he turned it to the forehand. There's the pinching D, we talked about that. And the little flick of the wrist by Downey as he turns it from backhand to forehand, elevates the puck. Allen gets a piece of it with his glove, but not enough. What a goal that was. There's no room there for Downey. You talk about soft hands, he's got them, and the Penguins are up by two. They get a great play from Winnick there, the finish by Como, and then the Downey's finish. Crosby tried to wheel one back across. 
for Daniel Winnick. And, and, and I was just saying, I, here's a chance now for Perron. The shot and a save by Jake Allen with a blocker there. For Perron to the right side on Latang. Down on the corner for Perron and back to Chris Latang. Latang to Pouliot. Harrisenko's in the box. Penguins on the power play. Pouliot shoots it. And Jake Allen makes the save. Puck stays in play. And it's cleared by TJ Oshie down the ice. He's going to play the puck, but Oshie got it ahead to Steen. He drops it off the back. It's a shot. Flurry the save. He reached back for the puck. Is it still loose? It is. Squirts free. And Lapierre got a stick on it. Flurry gets up. And they score. Bortuzzo gets the goal. He pounced on the loose puck and rifled it in off the post just as Flurry was getting back in position. Even if Flurry had been totally ready for that shot, I don't know if he'd have stopped it. It was perfectly placed by Robert Bortuzzo. Well, it started off a three on three. And Backus took a drop pass from Steen. You can see it happening in the neutral zone. There it is. There's the shot. Gets in behind Marc Andre Fleury. Look at the bodies on, in that blue paint. And it comes right out to Bortuzzo, who's falling backwards. And the puck goes off the post and in behind Marc Andre Fleury, who's got no stick. He goes blocker side on the flower, and he can't believe it. He knows Robert Bortuzzo has just made it two to one. Look back as if he thought it had gone behind him, when in fact it was underneath him. I think if he'd have just stopped, he probably would have stopped play. Here's another chance for the Blues. Centering pass on a good save there by Fleury. And a one-time opportunity. A backhand shot by Bowmeister. And second crack for Bowmeister. And Fleury stops him on that one, too. Blake Como had gone eight games without scoring a point. He's got the opening goal in this game. And that's what the Penguins are looking for, that secondary scoring, if you want to call it that. Here's a Perron with it now. Perron drops it off. Cole with it. He shoots. Oh, I thought that was going in. I thought Cole was going to answer Robert Bortuzzo with a goal of his own. Puck got under the netminder, Allen, and it didn't. Now it's Perron with it. He feeds it ahead to Crosby, the shot. And Allen makes the save on Sidney Crosby. Of the corner. And look out here, turning shot by Austin oh, to the save. Eight. Rebound and a big save on Reeves by Fleury. Boy, he has made some phenomenal saves on second chance opportunities here. Another opportunity for the Blues to the goal. Puck check and they score this Gosh. time on the second chance, and it's Marcel Gotch. You believe this? Robert Bortuzzo and now Marcel Gotch, two former Penguins, have scored to make it 2 2. Well, Reeves was unbelievable in that shift. He was like Superman. I tell you, he was flying all over the ice. He turned the puck over. He set up Ott the first time. And this time, Reeves takes the puck to the net. And there's the chip by Ott. There's Reeves, the poke check. And then Gotch finds the garbage. He puts it right in. At, uh, Winnick, when he went to Phoenix the other day, said, he, he coaches, he get those guys out there. Here's Perron with it. He drops it off to Crosby. Back to Perron. The shot. Oh, and a big save by Allen there. He reached up with his glove and made a sensational save. Because, honest to God, you look at the goalies now, you, you can't see the net. When Darren was in there, he had to really be acrobatic and, well, and be probably better than he had to be. Now it's a position game for these net minds. Well, that play by Crosby was offside. He put the skate back. Oh. Cradled the puck with one hand. Go ahead, go ahead. This is Steen with it, shooting up high. And Fleury makes the save and directs the puck up into the netting behind the goal. Penguin there as Pouliot was checking him, and finally the Penguins are able to get it away from him. And Como slips it inside the blue zone of the goal. Sutter there, he shot it, saved by him, and he also stopped the second crack, and also one on Kunitz. The Penguins just were whacking away right into the pads of Jake Allen. And Daniel Winnick working down low again, doing a great job of protecting that puck, bringing it up high. Perfect pass. The Penguins shoots. Big save by Lowe, and he came out, telescoped out to make the save on Latang. And now a chance for the Blues. Tarasenko has Latera going to the net. And Tarasenko's backhander went wide of the goal and decided to shoot it himself. Has it. Snaps it across the rink for Como. Como stepping around for Trangelo with a shot. They made rebound. Jake Allen makes the save on a second chance opportunity. Right on the doorstep as Sutter was driving to the net trying to jam one in. Great individual battles all over the ice. It was Latang and Ott. And then it was Oshie with Lovejoy. And look out, Stastny has some room. Trying to get around Latang. Gets to the goal. The save made by Flurry on Paul Stastny, who was looking for his 15th goal of the year. Make that Pouliot coming off the bench. Crosby's behind the net. And a taken now by Perron, spinning away from the checking of the Blues. Perron controls the puck nicely, bringing it up high to pull out a drive. Save made. Rebound. Oh, handed over the goal by Crosby. With Allen sprawling backwards and reaching up with a glove. Como back to the net. And a save made by Allen. And Steen has control. 
And the horn sounds, ending regulation play. A little toe drag move there. Flurry just held his ground and made the save. Now battle in the corner. Steen there with Pouliot Lovejoy for the Penguins. Steen continues to work on the wall. Very strong on the puck. Out to McCollick. A street direct score. Steen went to the net. He scores the game winning goal in overtime on a setup by Zabinic McCollick. That was a shot pass perfectly executed. And Steen delivers the game winning goal, and the Blues do get the big win on the road to close out their road trip at 3 1 and 2. Just as Ken Hitchcock had said he was trying to do oh, earlier today. And there's well, McDonald's player of the game, Bob. Yeah, and Steen was yelling at Backus on the rush up the ice tag. He cut, cut, and Backus got to the far blue line. He cut across the blue line. That gave Steen the offense. And then while they were in the offensive zone, Steen stepped on the puck. And then. He was able to get it loose after he was stepping on it away from Lovejoy, and he beat Lovejoy to the net with, with that little separation. Watch how he goes to the net, the bump on Lovejoy, just enough time to create separation. Great shot, pass by Zabinic McCulloch, 